Ray. Hi. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's the 8th of April, 2020. Mm -hmm. That's right. It is the 8th of um, April, 2020 at 11 a.m. The 8th of April. I can't work out if these days are going really fast or really slowly, or if we're just outside of time. I think we're outside. Like, memory feels we're outside of time, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. there we go. Yeah, we're existing in another um, plane of existence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. Um, the viral so, dimension. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Um, that's how I feel anyway. So yeah. why did we introduce ourselves? Sure uh, thing. People first, Hal. Okay, great. Um, my name is Hal. Hello. Very happy to be here with everyone. And I'm 26, I'm from London in the UK. Not London exactly, but near to London. A little sorry. town called Woking, Surrey, exactly. And um, what else? And I, I'm in Bologna and uh, that's it really. Okay, fantastic. And we have already Luca Ricci. Hi Luca, good morning. Hey again, happy Hello. to see you as well. Good to see you. We have Giuseppe. Hi, nice to meet you, Giuseppe. I am Kate, and this is Hal. Hello, hello. Hello. So I am Kate. I am 28 years old from the United States of America, originally from Portland, Oregon, but now I live in San Giovanni in Persiceto. And I have been working at my English school for a little over a year. And I get to work with the lovely Hal here as well. So I still can't point properly. There we go. You got to do the opposite of it. No, it's it's counterintuitive. It is. It is um, counterintuitive. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. So we have a little question for you guys today. So here it is. Can you read that, Hal? Sure. Who is the most adventurous person you know, and why? Hmm. Adventurous, adjective from adventure, the noun adventurous, the adjective. Mm -hmm. So, who do you know who loves to go off on adventures, has a passion for adventures, can't yes. turn down an adventure? Tell us. Tell us. Amazing teachers. Oh, we haven't done anything yet. We haven't even started. Yeah, we just started. Oh, your younger brother. Okay. Tell us why, Giuseppe. Tell us yeah, why. why. Why? Why? Kate, do you have someone in mind? Yes. So okay. I know Luca knows this person as well. So I okay. think the most adventurous person I know is Irene. She was okay. a teacher at Bologna Mille. And um, she is now in... Where is Irene now? I'm not okay. sure. She's uh, traveling. I think she's in South America somewhere. Okay. Yeah. So she is quite an adventurous person and a lovely teacher as well. But she decided, I think she went to Buenos Aires. And now I don't know where she is. OK. So she, she kind of travels mm -hmm. around. She a just vagrant. needed. Yes, like a vagrant. <laughs> she's in Argentina. Luca knows better than I do. Ah, OK. I read okay. in Argentina at the moment. Yes, she's very, very adventurous. Cool. Oh, he also says my most, the most adventurous person is my brother too. Watch your spelling, okay. Luca, but really, really good. Okay, we have Alessandro. Nice to hello, see hello. you. Hello, hello. And can you read this for me? Yeah, because my brother did a rally from London to Mongolia with a small car. Wow. Okay. That is incredible. <laughs> yeah. How, how, how long did that take, Giuseppe? How long did it take him? Yeah. London to Mongolia. Oh, God. Jeez. I know. So who is the most adventurous person you know how? Um, I'm going to go with my friend Zoe, who, um, a bit like Irene, it sounds similar. She, she travels lots. She always kind of throws herself into new situations, new social groups, new experiences mm -hmm. um, without a second thought. And yeah, so she's very bold and, and uh, ambitious as well, and definitely adventurous, yeah. 
Really cool. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. So Zoe sounds like a person I would get along with, I think. Yeah, I think you would actually. Yeah, I think we would. would. So we'd have a little friendship. All right. So <laughs> we have Alessandro says, yeah. it's me. Oh. Why? Please yeah, explain. Why? For example, I don't. Oh, hey, Solit. Hi. Hi. For example? Nice to see you. Well, I don't think of myself as that adventurous. I don't mm -hmm. know about you. I'm pretty I, adventurous, but I'm not that yeah. adventurous. <laughs> okay. Like, so, man. Um, we have Giuseppe says three months for three the month. round. Okay. Wow. That's incredible. In a small car? Yeah. Wow. Okay. And then to Mongolia. Mm -hmm. My brother travels every year for a couple of months in different places around the world by motorbike. Wicked. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's adventure for you. That is definitely adventurous. That's really, really mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Hmm. What? That's awesome. Because I tried to be a co-driver in a two Nissan GTR of 12,000 HP. Or 1,200 HP. I don't know enough about cars to understand the full significance of this, but... It's a lot of horsepower. It's a lot of horsepower. Okay, thanks. Imagine. Tell me that. Imagine. Horses. <laughs> horses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, got it in my mind. Yeah, um, yeah. He crossed a lot of Middle East countries. Cool. A lot of Middle Eastern, the adjective, yeah. Middle Eastern countries. Wait, so you go London, then what? Like through Europe, through the Balkans, I guess, then mm -hmm. through Turkey, and then through mm -hmm. the Middle East, and then up to Mongolia. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Crazy, crazy. Fantastic. Wow, that's <clears throat> really, really wild, honestly. Yeah. Wild, wild. Wild. That's what we say, yeah. So yeah, that's wild. That's wild. So yeah, so when something is really crazy, a little bit and entertaining, yeah, it's wild. <laughs> yeah. I say that a lot, actually. Yeah. Even things that even things that aren't really that crazy, but it's wild. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Even when, yeah, it's a little bit of an exaggeration. I do it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's wild. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. And then we have Iran and Tehran. Wow. Yeah, a small car. Jeez. Yeah, that sounds like a really adventurous person. So let us know if you're just joining us. Um, hello, welcome. And go ahead and answer the question for us. Who is the mm -hmm. most adventurous person you know and why? Yeah, like I said, Irene, for me, she's in Argentina. I would also say in the past it was my father, but now he's not at all adventurous. Oh. He's an old, old man. He's settled down. <laughs> uh, in his earlier days, he was. Yeah. He was adventurous. Okay, oh, cool. in his youth. Yeah. But my parents are like the least adventurous people. Oh, I know. really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Adventurous is like going to an Indian restaurant <laughs> on a Saturday. Adventure. <laughs> yeah, adventure. Adventure yeah, yeah. getting a plate of fries. <laughs> okay, go Hi, ahead. Andrea. Sure thing. Um, good morning. I'm great. We're great. We're happy to be here. The most adventurous person that um, I know is a friend of mine who works as a chef. I don't really know if he is really a chef or something else. Okay. And he yeah. works all over the world. Wow. Okay. It's oh my God. Chef. A chef. A chef. A chef. A chef. <laughs> a chef. Um, traveling wow. all over the world. A traveling chef. Wow. Cool. Oh, wow, that's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, we don't yeah. know what he's cooking, but he sure is adventurous. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure what what he's cooking, but he's cooking something. That's uh, sure. Nice. <laughs> that's certain. It's certain. All right, fantastic. So these are really, really great answers. Okay. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's take a look at our activity. Uh, so, but oh, here we go and, with uh, adventure. Okay, and if you would still like to answer the question, you can. Um, but for now, let's take a look. So can you read for me how? Sure thing. We have describing an adventure, using conditionals, and overcoming a fear. Overcoming a fear. Okay. Bing. All right. We've got some lovely quotes here. Uh, well, one, really. But go ahead and read. 
So the quote at the top is, life is an adventure or it is nothing at all from Helen Keller. Mm. And we want to know if you agree with that one, first of all. And then should I read the questions? Sure. Sure. We have uh, number one, do you consider yourself to be adventurous or a daredevil? Number two, what is the most adventurous thing you have done in your life so far? Mm -hmm. And three, what adventurous thing would you like to do? Would you like to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So please let us know in the comments. We'll start with uh, number one. And also, if you want to let us know what you think of the quote. Mm -hmm. But number one, do you consider yourself to be adventurous or a clear mm -hmm. So I know we, for example, heard from Giuseppe. Uh, no, uh, and don't, who is it? Alessandro says he's the most adventurous person he knows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that Antonio? Bear ah. Bear Grylls, <laughs> nice. Yeah, the most adventurous. He's pretty person. adventurous. Yes. Um, we might say it's fine, um, Antonio, to say I know, but maybe it's better here to say I know of, because mm -hmm. if we're talking about a celebrity, unless okay, mm -hmm. Antonio, if you've met Bear Grylls and you've gone into the wild with Bear Grylls and and <laughs> killed some, <laughs> killed some, uh, hunted some some game, then let us know. But if you don't know him personally, then we say I know of. Mm -hmm. Sarah. When you've never met a person. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. So the, I know of is when you've never met oh. that person. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well done. Giuseppe says, I'm not adventurous. Yeah. <laughs> so me neither. You, me, really? Hal is not adventurous. No, I think, um, I don't know, in some respects, yes. But when I think of adventure, I think of um, like the examples we've had, they've all been great, like travel, maybe physical, pushing yourself physically as well in some way. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I, I mean, I quite like to, I don't mind being outside my comfort zone intellectually or yeah, encountering like new ideas or new people. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't say that I've had many, you know, like proper adventures, like mountain climbing or driving to Mongolia. I can't even drive, so that would be, that would be a problem. Um, I don't know. Yeah, so no. Mm -hmm. How about you? I'm Maria. Hey, Hi. Maria. Hi, Hi. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I would say I am, I okay, I, I'm quite adventurous. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I've never driven to Mongolia, but for example, <laughs> Um, that's the limit now. That's the limit we have yeah, to. Yeah, that's the bar. The bar is raised. The bar. The bar. Yeah. When we say to to set, okay, to raise. That's pretty the good. Bar, yeah, it's like uh -huh. to raise the standards, um, for something. Okay. So Giuseppe's brother raised the bar. Mm -hmm. Now, we to be adventurous means to drive to Mongolia. Yes, exactly. It means to raise the standard for something. So mm -hmm. it's that's what I need to do now. Okay, yes. nice to be adventurous. Oh, I consider myself more daredevil than adventurous, but I can let um, let myself, so you want to make uh -huh. this reflexive, Luca, let myself be persuaded to do something crazy. Ah, right. so you can, you're easily talked into doing crazy things. Mm. I, I think I'm adventurous. It's difficult for me to say no easily, put the adverb at the end there. But yeah, to say no easily. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Persuadable. Yeah, yeah seriously. Uh, I think I, yeah, she's persuadable. I like that. Mm -hmm. uh, adventurous. I have to spell this word 40 times today. It's a challenge. It is a challenge. <laughs> um, and you would <laughs> also because, because it's um, difficult for me to say no easily. Okay, good. So where are my quotations? Where am I? There they are. <laughs> well, so maybe we can talk about the difference because some people have said, oh, I'm adventurous, but I'm not a daredevil or vice versa. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if the difference is that important, but I guess daredevil mm -hmm. definitely makes me think of physical risk, like mm -hmm. doing something that that is dangerous maybe for your 
your body, right, for your health in a certain way. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, like skydiving, jumping out of plane. Mm -hmm. um, and adventurous includes that idea, but can just be, I don't know, that you enjoy pushing yourself in other ways as well, right? Mm -hmm. uh, the difference is, is um, subtle, but well done, guys, who have, who have mentioned that there is a difference, I think. Yes, good. It's perfect. So I would say, You're yeah. You're so, you're so far. Sorry, I'm no. impressed. No, thank you. Um, Adventure is someone who likes to challenge themselves with new experiences. Yes, yes. The devil is someone who challenges themselves with thrilling experiences. So it's Great. very similar. Yeah, Cal, uh, Cal, oh my God. Your nickname, <laughs> Cal, is. Yeah. <laughs> my nickname of a nickname is Cal. Yeah, your nickname for me from me is Cal. Remember, <laughs> Cal host. But um, yeah. Cal is right. Okay. Go ahead and read one. Sure thing. The most adventurous thing that I have done is skydiving and zipline in Las Vegas. Wow! <laughs> from the top of a skyscraper to another one. Yeah, you're adventurous. That is adventurous. That's incredibly adventurous. That sounds yeah. like so much fun. Yeah. I want to wow. go to Vegas and I want to jump on a zipline. That's fantastic, Luca, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, Luca is definitely adventurous. Okay, so I would say I am adventurous. Yeah. Ooh. Um, let's see, let's see. We also have this, and I don't want to leave Alessandro behind. Maybe I'm more daredevil than adventurous because that uh -huh. day I was with a friend of mine and I constricted him. So you would say um, forced, maybe? Forced. Yeah. Forced him to be a passenger. P.S. I didn't know the driver. I saw him and I asked for a couple of laps. I think the experience the Nissan GTR and Autodroma Monza was, yeah, probably extremely adventurous. Definitely. Yeah. And, and Daredevil. Mm -hmm. a daredevil. Yeah, so how you about you? Uh, okay. So I um, am adventurous, I think. I traveled from Maryland to uh, Oregon on a train for four days. So it took me a wow. long, long time. So I saw, I traveled the entire United States. Um, I sold everything I had to go visit one of my past boyfriends in Belgium. I like sold wow. everything. Um, and I just went on a two week vacation there to travel for the first time in Europe. Um, my hair has been every color of the rainbow. Uh, uh -huh. Obviously, I well, well, I moved to Italy and married my husband, so I would yeah. say I'm pretty adventurous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I'm getting older now, so anyway. Shut <laughs> up, no. Uh, I definitely consider okay, reflexive. I consider myself. I consider myself mm -hmm. a daredevil. The most adventurous thing I've done in my life so far is my trip on the moon. What? What? I would like yeah. to go on Mars in my next space trip. Okay, no. Antonio, I think you're pulling our leg. Yeah. Um, Ooh, what does that mean? Um, to pull our leg. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. It means to um, you're joking and you're trying to make us look silly or yeah. stupid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To pull someone's leg. To joke or kid about something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're pulling my leg. You're not telling the truth. Yeah. You're pulling so. my leg. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Nice. Okay. The most adventurous thing I have ever done, don't forget to put that in your sentence, okay, was touching a tiger or doing parkour. Oh, okay. Wow. Fantastic. Okay. Of course, I'm joking. Yes, I figured as much. I figured. We figured. I, I had an adventure by accident in December, which was the oh. most adventurous thing I've ever done. Wow. It, was, it was horrible. My friend who I mentioned before, Zoe, um, is the most adventurous person I know. She had just driven to Italy from Morocco in a van, like round, and then to Italy. And she wanted to go for, a, guys, she wanted to go for a walk, a walk in the... Dolomites, I hope you pronounce it in English. Dolomites. Yeah, the um, Dolomites. Yeah. Dolomites, yeah. And um, it was December, and I went and I didn't really prepare myself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually in any way. 
And I got off the train and got in the van and we drove up into the mountains. And she wanted to walk, hike up to a refuge job that was open, was mm -hmm. open. But she hadn't actually checked that it was. Not, it was not we open. We climbed up a mountain for four hours in the, in the December cold and in this freezing snow. And we got mm -hmm. there as, it was, as the sun was setting and it was closed. Mm -hmm. And I was so, I actually just felt really weird. I was like, this is, this is a disaster, Zoe. And she was kind of, because she's very adventurous, was like, oh, it doesn't matter, we can just go back down. But it was getting dark and the track, the track wasn't very distinct. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, there was a man on a snow plow who was kind of on another ridge that we could see and we ran over and on his way back down, he gave us a lift. Oh, that's really cool, actually. What yeah. was it to take the... It was really fun. He was so angry with us, this guy, you can imagine. He was like, what on earth are you doing, you idiots? Yeah. And he just like yelled at us to get on the back. And that bit was really fun because you were sitting on the back of the snow plow and it's going down, clearing the snow either side of you. So it feels like you're in a kind of like a huge waterfall. Of, like there's just snow flying either side of you. That's so cool. Yeah. Wow. But I would never do it again. I didn't enjoy it. Let's go for a walk in the Dolomites. Yeah, a walk in the Dolomites in December. Don't do it. Well, do if you want to hike or ski, but don't go for a walk. Do it in the morning, please. Okay. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to try skydiving, drag race, and zip lining. Drag zip racing, probably, and zip lining. Jaren's, Jaren's, Jaren's. Jaren's, Jaren's, Jaren's. Fantastic, okay. Alex. Oh, you are adventurous. This guy is very adventurous. Okay. Oh, the most adventurous thing I've ever done was going to Cambridge to woo a girl. Love. Romance and adventure. That's in right. Cambridge as well. What a what a backdrop for a, for a romantic <laughs> Cambridge. Adventure. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I would like to go to the Sahara Desert. Really cool, Luca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of my aspirations as well. Also to visit Africa. Um, most adventurous trip in my life is a trip to Scotland. Christina says, "Hi, Christina." Um, hiking the hills. I remember the wind pushed me back, and I fallen so many times, and I fell. So this is a, a finished action in the past. Mm -hmm. So you don't need the present perfect, but it was good. So many times to reach the top of that hill. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I would do the higher roller coaster. Mm -hmm. We'd probably say I would go on, to go on a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Me too, that's one thing I can say. I love roller coasters. I love theme parks. Okay. I'm, Really? Okay, I just can't get enough of them. I used to, I grew up near a really big one in the UK, mm -hmm. and my mum in the holidays, as a cheap form of childcare, would get like a, <laughs> would get a season ticket with like supermarket vouchers and just dump me and my sister at the, at the theme park, sometimes like twice a week, and we would just spend the day in the theme park, and so I just, I go crazy for them. That's so that's cool, that's even though that's a little terrible. terrifying. Just totally unsupervised. Yeah, but it's like an enclosed space, you know, full of like staff. I think it's actually genius. Wow. It is a bit strange, but childcare yeah. is expensive, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. she was just making it work. That's yeah, exactly. Hustle. She was just making it work. All right, that's cool. There's a cat. So he says Cambridge is a wonderful garden. The whole I mean, city. The whole city. It's a place. It's a. Um, Hey, I have a question for you, actually, Hal. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. that where uh, we can find King's College? Is it in Cambridge? Uh, no. I think there might be a King's at Cambridge, but King's College is King's College London, usually, mm. in the UK. Mm. Is there a King's at Cambridge? I don't know. There are loads of colleges. True, it's true. Um, we would probably say, what, Cambridge has many wonderful gardens, yeah. which is true or is very green, if you mean the whole city is green, it's got lots of trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. so yeah, you, Giuseppe, it's a beautiful city. It is, really. Yeah, it looks like a bit like this. Um, da -da, Cambridge is very green, or it has many wonderful gardens. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, King College, King's, King's College. College, okay, there we go. Oh, nice, really cool. Uh, the roller coaster lasts um, so you would say doesn't. Remember your auxiliary, Sole. So it doesn't last long. 
just a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but they're the scariest few minutes ever. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's what you like about it. <laughs> I, I, I walk off them like screaming and laughing and yeah, yeah, yeah. it's so much fun. You wanna do it again? I don't know, um, I don't know, I work on my, yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's okay. go to a theme okay. park when this is finished. Are there okay. any big ones in Italy? I don't know. Mirabilandia, if you want to go to Mirabilandia. Sounds great. Okay, let's go. I'll, I'll go on a roller coaster with you, but you have to like, you know, pat me on the shoulder and be like- Pat you on the shoulders, yeah. Come be on, like self care, on. like give me like oh, like some popcorn, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kate's a little traumatized. All right. Um. Choking aside, the most adventurous thing I've done in my life is when I took the hot air balloon. Ah, hot air balloon. Hey. Uh, yeah. A, because we don't know, it's not one specific hot air balloon, it's just that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'd love to try that actually. I think that would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. And not as stressful as skydiving or bungee jumping. There's would something you ever... very soft about a hot air balloon, the way it moves gently, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I might do something like that, even though it'd be terrible. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, River Cam is a fantastic place to row. In a rowboat. Fantastic. This is really cool. I would love to go rowing. Um, mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Anna Chiara from Sicily. The most adventurous thing I've, hello, hello, <laughs> I've ever done um, was driving a dog sled. So you would just say a dog sled for the object um, in a forest in Sweden with my family. Awesome. Wow, that sounds so magic. Yeah. That is magic. Um, it's really cool. How come we just like adventurous people? I know. These these guys are amazing. Yeah. I feel like my my misadventure in the in the Dolomites was nothing really. Um yeah. No, it's, it's Ooh, maybe, maybe we should write that in as well, because I use that kind of ironically, but the negative of an adventure is a misadventure. Mm -hmm. You use maybe when you're you're I don't know when we would use it in a situation that's not good. Um, something goes wrong, and yeah. you didn't intend, you didn't intend to have an adventure, but it's it becomes a misadventure. Mm -hmm. it takes time and it's a bit stressful. The negative of it. Exactly. I I will define it as when an adventure becomes a disaster. Right. right. <laughs> yeah, a misadventure. We can use it also, for example, not eat like in an everyday context too. So I could say, yeah. oh, you wouldn't hear about this misadventure I just had at the supermarket. I right. wanted to buy, I don't know, something. And then I ended up with uh, a black eye. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a misadventure. Yeah. For sure. Um, yeah. And we use it kind of in an exaggerated way, right? To describe mm -hmm. like something stupid situation that wasn't pleasant basically yeah yeah something bad that I've, had, I've, had many, I've had many more misadventures in my life than adventures that's it that's I fair i yeah. i've had a good mix i would say that most that's of my good. adventures turn temporarily into misadventures and then turn back and then come back okay yeah they kind of do this yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely um i could tell you some stories but i won't oh i was a door to door <laughs> salesman for a year you were where I was a door-to-door -door salesman for a year. Oh, okay. So yeah, you must have cold call into lots of interesting people. Yeah, I had like pink hair, and I was wearing like a NASCAR jacket, knocking on people's wow. doors in Portland. Yeah, I was in Portland. In Portland, yeah. Wild. Yeah, okay. Wild, wild. That's such an image. I was selling oil changes. I have pictures from that time. If you're ever interested. Can't wait. Okay. Anyway, so. Um, Let's look at number four. What adventures would you like to avoid? What is something you don't want to do? How? Um, bungee jumping. Bungee jumping. Mm. I, don't, I don't. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. I, maybe okay because I like roller coasters, so obviously I do like a bit of adrenaline. Mm -hmm. mm, but there's something about bungee jump or skydiving as well that seems excessive yeah. i'm also very lazy so i wouldn't like to do like a marathon you know a, a sahara marathon or you know cycle from here to timbuktu no <laughs> yeah definitely nothing like that for sure um 
you tell us in the comments what is something you would like to do and something you would like to avoid. Let us know yeah. something you would like to do in the future, something you would not like to do in the future. I think uh, something I would like to do in the future would be long-term hiking. Like mm -hmm. I would love to do like, um, somebody in the comments probably knows. So if you're watching this, please remind me what it's called when you you hike from Bologna to Florence. Florence to Florence, yeah. What is that path called? I don't know, but it's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you like camping? Would you be okay I with- I love camping. Really, okay. You want to you want to go camping now? No, but I would quite like to do that walk. Okay, well, I would quite like to do that walk. I'm not a huge fan of camping. There's like um, I think there are rest areas, so like cabins we could rent or something. That sounds fine. That sounds fine. And also, I think basically my experience of camping in the UK in like the autumn would be very different rain. from camping <laughs> in yeah, yeah yeah rain 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 rain. I think mm -hmm. in in a climate like Italy, it would it could actually be quite lovely. Mm, uh, yes, in the summertime. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. We're making plans. Another adventurous thing I've done in my life was when I hitch hitch when I hitchhiked. Mm -hmm. It's past Probably simple right. of yeah. the verb uh, to hitchhike. I hitchhiked to arrive at the camping. Probably at a campsite. A campsite mm -hmm. is a place. Camping is the activity. Campsite is where you are. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hitchhiking. Have you ever hitchhiked, Kate? Uh, I imagine you have. Have you, you? Um, a little bit. I mean, I may yeah. have <laughs> flat. I mean, I've never hitchhiked, but I think I flagged down cars before for That's help. Oh, for help. Okay. For help. For help. That's hitchhiking. That's hitchhiking. Yeah. <laughs> That's the same thing. Um, I didn't hitchhike, Mom. I didn't hitchhike. I just flagged down a car, got in, and then got driven somewhere. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> okay. Well, okay, so kind of, but they did give me a ride. It was just that I had okay. a ride here. <laughs> okay, I see, I see. Um, hitchhike and blah, 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 blah. Um, you said at the campsite. Campsite. Is the noun. Good. And mm -hmm. Luca agreed with me to avoid, like to, I'd like to avoid bungee jumping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I'm with you both. So one thing I would never do is bungee jump. I think, mm -hmm. um, I, I would do paragliding, I would go windsurfing, I might eventually even ski, but I don't mm -hmm. think I would ever want to do like base jumping, bungee jumping, or skydiving because it's just too extreme, yeah. I yeah. agree, I agree. Also all of the equipment and stuff, it's a bit, I like, is it, then there's a Mark Twain quote, which is you should be suspicious of anything that needs you to change your clothes or buy new clothes, which I, yes. I agree with. Oh my God, Mark is a genius. Don't, don't um, buy new clothes to get a hobby. You should already have your, your basics sorted. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I agree with this so much. I won't ever go in the Amazon, the Amazon, mm -hmm. or forests like that um, with all the insects or wild animals. Yes, I wouldn't enjoy that either. Um, mm -hmm. We can say specifically it's a rainforest. That's what we call it. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. Get out of my head. You read my mind. <laughs> the Amazon rainforest, exactly. Mm -hmm. Really good, really good. Yeah, I I will say I would love to do something like that. I'm not afraid of the jungle or of the wilderness because I'm quite oh. well myself. Bugs, um, as long okay, spiders I have a problem with. Everything else okay. is okay. okay. Uh, I can cope with giant snakes and terrifying animals. Just no spiders, please. <laughs> Oh, every Luna Park, Moon Park? Theme Park? I did not know if that's, because I suffer from vertigo. Andrea, like, this, this is a park with crazy roller coasters and rides mm -hmm. where you sit and you fly around. A theme park, yeah. or what do you call them in the States? Theme yeah, like park? a theme park, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, yeah. yeah a theme park. Um, yeah, like Mirabilandia, Andrea, let us know. This is my go-to example for all theme, for oh, Italian. Theme parks, the theme yeah. Disneyland, Disneyland. Six Flags, Six Flags. <laughs> I, oh, I never, yeah. Six Flags? No, 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 I haven't been. You'd go crazy over that. It would be. Yeah, like, would. yeah I went on this roller coaster yeah. once. It's called the Superman. It's the one where uh -huh. they have to strap you in and you hang. Uh, you're looking down. Yeah. There's one like that at Alton Towers in the UK and you feel like you're flying, right? Yeah, it's amazing. It is amazing. You can't even see the strap. 
Yeah, you can't even see it, but you feel like you're gonna die at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he says, yeah, right, yeah. So you, we would call that a theme park in English. Mm-hmm. Good. Okay, so these are really cool. Why don't we take a look at thrilling language? How would you like to start reading, and we can go back and forth? Sure, I'll read the first sentence. My uncle is a thrill seeker. Mm -hmm. You go. Okay, he enjoys doing extreme sports and is fearless. I would like to be as brave as he is someday. Good. Uh, my worst fear is heights. If I want to be a daredevil like him, I will need to be daring and face my fear. I have thought about trying something dangerous like skydiving, but I'm afraid that it's too risky and extremely hazardous. Mm, my uncle, however, says it's the biggest adrenaline rush. My mum says not to listen to him since he is an adrenaline junkie. Ah, okay. So we've got some new vocabulary here. We've got, what's the first thing you would say could be new for us? Probably thrill seeker, no? That mm -hmm. collocation, that phrase, a thrill seeker. Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. A well, thrill is a thrill is an exciting feeling, no? Like when you get a rush, a rush of energy, you feel alive, you get a thrill. So mm -hmm. a thrill seeker is somebody mm -hmm. searching for that feeling. Exactly. Someone who looks for thrilling experiences. And I misspelled experiences. Hooray! <laughs> um yes. It, that's exactly right. Someone who looks for thrilling experiences, um, a thrill being an exciting feeling. I corrected myself. Um, good. I would say the next one, well, we've, we've spoken about um, in the past brave or, uh, but let's look at worst fear. So mm. what is your worst fear, Hal? Tell us on, on, on live. Tell us on YouTube. <laughs> Tell us on YouTube. Worst um, fear. Okay, but do we mean like, we mean in the context of kind of adventures and thrills, right? Sure. Because yeah. obviously like pho like a phobia, because obviously I fear, I don't know, um, loss of family members and- Well, yeah. Like but my worst kind of uh, phobia, like unusual fear would be um, needles. Really? I cannot stand injections. I'm actually stressed now, guys, because I keep thinking when there will be a vaccine, I'm like, oh, no, I'll have to go get an injection. And it really stresses me out from a personal point of view. Um, you, you need someone to like distract you and yeah, like engage you with something that like you really have to think about. Sure, <laughs> like give me a Rubik's cube and uh, Tell me to look over there or something, and then yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'll be like, yeah I'm really, I really don't like needles. I'll be like, quick, uh, Cal, what's your middle name? And you'll be like, ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then it's done. <laughs> but it's the whole idea of it. It really is a phobia because even just talking about it now makes me feel squirmy. Um, so, um happy things like kittens and puppies. Mm -hmm. There you mm -hmm. go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> A phobia? Uh, uh, falling. From falling a... a great height, yeah. Okay. Falling from on high is my my worst fear ever. Okay. I think um, it's been a, a real challenge for me to get over my fear of heights. I have, uh, I used to be afraid of lifts. I used to okay. be afraid of bridges. I wouldn't okay. even take the escalator in the mall. Um, and I wouldn't... Would you get like vertigo? Would you feel kind of... Ill, no, so I, but my body goes crazy. So I just, yeah, yeah. um, I can wow. literally feel the chemicals dumping into my body. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's no. it. Mm -hmm. Your heart but, races, we say. Your heart races. It goes like, and it horrible. goes crazy. Yeah, it's a horrible feeling. But yeah, I've begun to face begun to face my fears. So I now I fly in planes. I have no problem with the lifts. I have no problem with escalators, and I even go up the funiculare occasionally. Okay. Wow. But was it a conscious thing where you you kind of in, at certain moments you said, "Look, I've got to do this to try and face my fear," as we say, or did it just happen gradually that you? 
found yourself becoming less afraid? Um, it's a little bit of both. I guess I just made I decided that I was not going to let um, my fear keep me away from experiences that would make me happier or enrich my life. So mm, what a yeah. good attitude. Thanks. I'd avoid a safari alone because I'm terrified by snakes. Me too. Not terrified. Really? I don't, well, <clears throat> I don't like snakes. Not terrified. It's the way they move. They're fine when they're when they're still. Cool. When they when they start moving, they can go really quick. Yeah, horrible. Same I, with spiders. Love, I love snakes. I love Have snakes. Have you ever had a pet snake? No, but with pink hair in Portland with a huge <laughs> snake going door to door. <laughs> I, I know it's, it's crazy, crazy, but um, I did not, but I worked at an environmental education camp for about three oh, years wow. when I was on the East Coast and uh -huh. we had various like wildlife we would care for. And one of them, we had this king snake we would bring out to show the children uh, because it was like for kids. And so um, I like during events, we would just like bring the snake out just to bring it out. And I would just sit there and like monopolize the snake. I would like Not let nice. him wrap around me. And then they would like, hey, you have to let other people handle the snake. Like snake, go away. Okay. Go away. Okay. Um, wow. I love snakes and cats, which is like, makes no sense at all. Anyway. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Makes it makes no sense. Okay. Um, we've got crowded places for phobias. Ooh crowded places so for you it, we call that claustrophobia a little bit don't you think mm, exactly claustrophobia mm -hmm. so, Alessandro, you made a really good connect correction there mm -hmm. terrified of snakes we probably would use of yeah when we're talking about in general you mm -hmm. can say i was i was terrified by a particular situation though like mm -hmm, by yeah. a, loud, a loud noise, bang, I was terrified by a specific situation. Mm -hmm. But here, you just mean in general, probably terrified of is best. Mm -hmm. Exactly, good. Terrified of in general. Really nice catch as well. Yeah. Um, and same to you, Alessandro, well done. You're welcome. Um, a situation terrified of in general. Good. Okay. Oh, God, so like, uh, so my phobia is to see to see. So don't forget your two. Um, or you can use the gerund is seeing mm -hmm. or hearing someone who is throwing up. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, again, I, I put that up here. And you can also take a look at this. Claustrophobia being the fear of tight spaces can also apply to crowds. Yeah. And yeah, like what Hal said before. Antonio. <laughs> I have like, ignorance phobia. You mean you? Yeah, you're afraid of ignorance. You're afraid I'm of ignorance. Of I'm terrified by other people's ignorance. I mean, me too. And me but too. It's not really phobia. It's just more. Of I, like it. I like it. Yeah, it's um, good. It's good. Um, okay, so let's keep going. So that these are our our worst fears. Okay. Uh -huh. So what does it mean to be? A, uh, well, we talked about a daredevil. Yeah. You know it. Um. What does it mean to be daring? Yeah, to be daring. Um, well, to dare to do something is almost like to make a risk, right? So if you're daring, you're willing to take risks. Mm -hmm. I would exactly. say you're willing to take risks. Yeah. Um, you're, you're willing to put yourself in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. If you're a daring person like Alessandro in the chat, for example, then you're mm -hmm. willing to take big risks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, unless it's with snakes, then Alessandro is out of there. It's not, yeah. It's He's not gone. <laughs> no, no. Um, but yeah, in general, I would say. Uh, we also know face your fears to confront your fear. Um, mm -hmm. And then we have the word adrenaline junkie. Yes. Adrenaline junkie. What does that mean, How? A junkie is someone who is addicted to something, someone mm -hmm. who has a big, who is dependent mm -hmm. on something in a big way, who needs something. So mm -hmm. sometimes we talk about mm -hmm. junkies as in drug addicts, no? Mm -hmm. So junkie, you need it. Adrenaline is... 
the thing that makes your heart race, makes your heart go faster. I'm not a scientist, obviously. So a journalist, <laughs> someone who is addicted to um, thrilling situations, no? Exactly, exactly. Okay, so uh, noun um, is someone who is addicted to thrilling situations. Ta-da! So, yeah, here we have it. So this is breaking it down. Someone who is addicted to something, usually drugs, it is slang. Um, and adrenaline junkie, someone who's addicted to thrilling situations. A lot more positive. It's more positive. Yeah. Junkie. This is very negative. I yeah, I wouldn't ever use it like if someone had a serious problem. Mm -hmm. Well, they were telling me about their uncle who has a drug problem. I wouldn't say, oh, your uncle's a junkie. <laughs> no. no. That would be it, very it, 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 it like it, yeah exactly it suggests a judgment right like you're saying a junkie so we don't use it that often or i don't anyway mm -hmm, I don't either. yeah so yeah this is a bit judgmental the word junkie but when you say adrenaline junkie it turns it into something right. more positive more positive um oh, <laughs> oh okay. it's a daredevil love stories a romantic okay. Okay, that's wonderful. These are romantic indeed. Um, so we have these three words and these three words. So daring, fearless, and brave could be some ways you might describe yourself if you are not afraid. And thrill seeker, daredevil, and adrenaline junkie are three ways you can describe someone. Remember, never an activity, always a person for these three terms. Okay. Exactly. Good. So um, we're getting up toward the end, actually. Can't believe it. We only have a few yeah. minutes left. So if you have any questions for Hal or I, now is your opportunity to write them in the comments while we wrap things up. Um, mm -hmm. So why don't we do a bit of review? Can you remember some of the things we talked about today, Hal? Maybe let's talk quickly, because I quite liked it. The different the difference between um adventure and the negative misadventure mm -hmm. um because i thought actually when you explained it i was like oh my my walk my adventure in the dolomites mm -hmm. was exactly that like it was an adventure because mm -hmm. we were going to find a refugia to stay in mm -hmm. and then it became a misadventure because it was sunset and it was freezing cold and mm -hmm. we were going to die. And um, we were <laughs> an extreme misadventure. And I was really angry. And my friend Zoe was like, oh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, it's, that's, that's important. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we've seen this vocabulary up here, which we've mm -hmm. got on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. But um, you mentioned as well in passing, I think it's quite nice to face your fear is a very very mm -hmm. common communication guys and like mm -hmm. kate said it's to confront to mm -hmm. face a fear and the fear okay good yeah to confront the fear good i think that's fantastic again remember that if for example you're talking about your worst fear it's the thing you are the most afraid of usually a phobia but it can also be something more um personal like a fear of death or fear of losing a family member um it depends right. on the context yeah and we can also talk about things like mirabilandia six flags disney world what are these uh, yeah theme what parks theme parks Theme park. Da, 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 what, do, we da, da, ever, do we ever call them amusement parks? No. Theme yeah, parks. Yeah. Um, amusement park. Also amusement oh. parks, but I like theme park better because apparently I'm British. I just never knew. I That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay, but I would say theme park every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Theme park. Um, because usually they have a theme, guys, like Pirate World. That would be a terrible theme park, but. Oh my God. <laughs> Pirates of the Pancreas. Anyway, yeah. um, <laughs> then we've got um, a hitchhike. To hitchhike is when you try to get a car to stop to mm -hmm. give you a ride. Okay. And remember, when we talk about the Amazonia, it's the Amazon rainforest, just like okay. the Dolomites. 
are the Dolomiti. Okay. And that's okay. pretty much it. Thank you Thank so you, much. Luca. Thank you. you. Yeah, oh, we have one more thing. Remember, we have our Maya's SOS English page on Facebook. Um, so if you have any burning English questions, go to Facebook, look up Maya's SOS English, hit the like button, and then ask whatever kind of question you might have. We have teachers checking every single day to answer them. Okay. Have a fantastic day. And thank you guys so much. We are going.